I'm Joel Smith, the Richard L. Mitchell Curator and Department Head in Photography at the Morgan Library and Museum. What we're looking at today are three great examples of what I like to call action portraits. The action portrait is a genre unique to photography. In the action portrait, the photographer collaborates with the subject and the camera to produce an image that shows you not just what a person looks like, but who they are. The poet Marianne Moore loved baseball. She even drew an analogy between baseball with its structure and its unpredictability and the art of writing poems. This press photograph of Marianne Moore throwing out the first baseball in a game between the New York Yankees and the California Suns shows her involved in the game of baseball itself. It's almost like a cartoon or a caricature in the way that it makes an image out of her affinity for the game and her own image. And what I love about this is that it shows the artist more immersed in the world and really participating in the public life of the United States of America. You'll find no more literal example of somebody projecting their public image than this unattributed press photograph from London in 1926. The inventor, John Logie Baird, invited the press to come to his laboratory and see his latest creation. He sat in another room and demonstrated his work by speaking to them through it. What he was showing them was the first workable system of televisually transmitting an image from one place to another. And this press photographer photographed Baird's face emerging on this eerie screen composed of tubes in what must have been a pretty remarkable visual experience for him. We've grown so accustomed to seeing images on screens moving that it's hard to recreate the magic of that moment, but the unpredictable nature of the photographer's situation helped to create this evocative image. One of the most dramatic action portraits in the Morgan's collection is this one by the life photographer John Milley of the great jazz drummer Gene Krupa. What we're seeing here is not just a decisive moment in the striking of a drum, but the entire process. And we see the action in about 50 installments by the pulse of a strobe light. And this is what a great action portrait does. It places us in the flow of time, in the flow of life, with the subject of the photograph. And you can sense your involvement in the image and the involvement of the photographer in a way that's different from the way any other work of art operates. These are all public figures in their way, a poet, an inventor, and a musician. They're all conscious that they're being photographed. They're conscious of having a public image, but they're more involved in what it is they're doing than in being the subject of a photograph. The self-consciousness that we see so often in portraits of ourselves is something that disappears entirely through this genre of imagery. And that's what I think makes it as intimate and as involving as it is.